Marco Silva's Everton crashed out of the FA Cup this weekend at the pause of the Lions Millwall vs Everton was far from without controversy as the Premier League side crashed out of the FA Cup to the home team, currently 19th in the championship table. 3-2 was the final score, with the hosts coming back twice before poking the winner home in injury time. Millwall's second goal and equaliser however was brought about by offside Jake Cooper handling the ball in the area to put it into the back of the net past off these goalkeeper Jordan Pickford and there were clear scenes on the sidelines as the Millwall bench tried to get the television screens turned off so the referee couldn't get a proper glimpse and reverse his decision. Where was the video assistant referees, VAR, were the shouts after the technology had been used sporadically throughout the fourth round with football fans taking to social media in droves to talk about the ongoing furore. No one would be saying anything about VAR if Everton had done it to Millwall, at re 7 underscore 62 PR, if you're going to have VAR you have to be consistent and use it in all games. At Rabbit 10, obvious handball to be fair, again highlighting the ongoing farce around VAR, at St. Biffy, if I was an Everton fan I'd be fuming, if VAR was in they'd probably be going through. The magic of the cup eye, at Kertheski, two of Millwall's three goals today have come on offside no calls and one was an uncalled handball. Why do I bother watching, at John Lawson 32 under pressure Toffees manager Marco Silva waded into the debate and made no secret of his resentment for the referee's decision which ultimately helped lead to them dropping out of the competition. Two points made the difference, we have to be more mature, taking the responsibility on the pitch, and the decision on their second goal. You can work 20 or 30 hours on the same things, set pieces, but you have to take your responsibility onto the pitch with you. We knew what they would do before the match but we gave them what they wanted. And if the competition has VAR for some stadiums then it has to have it in all. Because it doesn't make sense. It was a clear handball. I'm sure handball is not allowed in football. We had 7, 8 players in the penalty area. They all see that it's handball, so it's really difficult that the referee cannot see that also. And then it's also on the big screen, thousands of people see it there but the referee didn't see it again. It was really strange in that moment. And those two moments made a big impact. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, not to have VAR at every match. If we have to be fair with all the clubs, and with the competition, you have to do it for all the games. Now we go home frustrated. You have to be fair, even with the competition, not just with Everton, Sports Mole. It's sorry, times for Everton fans, who currently see their side 11th in the Premier League, despite having spent an exorbitant amount of money in recent seasons. Portuguese furious but didn't speak to officials post-match. Adds that Everton need to be more mature on the pitch.